would keep it on, but I'm like literally starting to melt. It's, yeah. it's very humid. So what the things that cool for? Yeah, they're oh, air blue yes. right there. Oh, that's perfect. So once all the, the shine goes away, I'll probably pop it right Goodness. How's the con so far? So far, so good. I mean, I wish we could see more of it. Like, every time we come to a con, we never really have an opportunity to go enjoy the food. Yeah, does it make you feel any better? We're all in the same position. Yeah. This is work. Yeah, it's all what you're, you're sitting here doing. And it's enjoyable work, and I love it, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. Oh, yeah. Um, but I am a fan. <laughs> I am a nerd. Like, so, if I could be cosplaying and down on the floor right now, I totally absolutely would be hands down. I think my cosplaying is... I just answered this question, Kratos. Kratos? So, oh, you'd be yeah. a great Kratos. Yeah, totally Kratos. I remember, I think my favorite uh, celebrity cosplaying was Brian Cranston uh, cosplaying as himself with a giant oh, yeah. head That's so great. several years ago. It was I loved so uh, Luca Tignango's Pink Ranger. Yep. That was one that I enjoyed. Which she, who did Spider Man? Was Dan Reckless, right? Yeah. Dan Reckless. The, the old or the new Kratos? So you have to the new new Kratos. Kratos. New Kratos. New Kratos. Would you yeah. bring a small child with you? A small stuffed animal? <laughs> <laughs> with a bow and arrow? I'll throw him places every now and then. And just yell at him. Boy! Yeah. <laughs> Your mom is hot, by the way. I sat in front of her. Uh, at the panel. Your mom. My mom? She's hot. Oh, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I sat in front of her at the panel. No, um, she's like, and she won't mind me saying it because she says it herself. She's almost 16. Oh, nice. She looks wow. good for her age. Yeah, she's she works impressive. It. She works it. So what can you tell us about uh, Xander in season two? Like, after his dad died and everything I mean, like that. I can't really, like, I wish I could say more because I don't even know. <laughs> much of anything. They keep us so like, they, we don't, yeah, we don't know anything until that script shows up. And it's kind of like, the only time we get to like, just like anybody else on TV, our only excitement is just being able to like, what's going to happen? So that feeling happens. What theories do you have about what's going to happen? Um, I personally feel and hope that Xander finds some love. Uh -huh. uh, finds a, a good, happy, joyful moment it would be nice. Um, and it's, I think that I feel like there's going to be more mermaids coming to And I feel like just like all the consequences of the events of the first season will come to bear in the second season. I hope because like so many, there's like a lot of things got resolved, but so many things remain questions and so many fissures had been opened and so many relationships yeah. have been like bruised that were much stronger before. So to kind of like deal with all of that is Oh so my god! Why do you have a hockey Oh my god! Thank you! Nice! Great! How's it? So beautiful Bella and Emma said Latin America and nerd new social and geek rock TV. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so how's the con for you? Oh, it's great. You, you know, I've, I've been here a couple of times for Star Wars in the past, but Star Wars never, never do panels. So all we got to do was sit in booths, but I can't complain because I got to sit in the booth with Billy. Billy and we signed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, we, sit, we do good sign stuff, but they don't even do panels in Star Wars, so it's fun. This is fun doing the panels. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, yeah. yeah. Have you guys gotten the scripts for the first episode yet? Yes. Just one. Just one. What Just can you tell us about? <laughs> we can't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> a big fat zero. What can you not tell us? I can tell you it's exhilarating. Yeah. It's like, you know, I got to the end of it. He saw me. I just, I literally walked to the hotel. I said, I've just finished it. I was buzzed. I was like, wow. It's I feel like, like I, I feel like what I can't say is that that same feeling in the pilot that I had, yeah. where you, you just kind of just get tossed into it, and you just like it just goes, and the world, and it's almost disorienting. Yeah. And it's like and it's you're trying to like find where you're yeah. going. Yeah. I feel like we have that. We ca it's captured the same totally. energy, which I love. And it just it kind of just starts, you know, quietly and slowly. You think this is all really ordinary and then just like oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really Emily, uh, our showrunner, wrote the first episode, and she knocked it out. It's it's great, and it, it has to be. It has to be because season one just went to a place that you know you, you've got to top it. Yeah, you got to keep going. You got to top it. You got to. Do you think going. you guys are ever gonna jump the shark? Like not, literally, not, yeah. probably. <laughs> but that pump the shark. 
the shack. Literally, the shack will jump the shack. So, uh, it was reference back to Happy Days where, uh, Fonzie hooked on to the shark, the and then the show, the show just went. kind of, like, crapped. So, do you think that this show is ever going to get to a point where it's so, such a high peak that it can't possibly top its tank? I think so. Well, but I think I feel like I feel like we would before we got to that point. I feel like we would have told our story. And yes, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. Because I feel like we have like such a great group of writers. And, and we do. Is, is so this, this is so clever. And show, I'll show run our godmother and our godfather. We've got great cast and really strong scripts. And you're just going to keep getting more new new characters coming in. I mean, that's how what happened to season one. You have to have fresh blood or fresh mermaids come into land to just keep it going. But I think most good shows kind of like to go out on a high so if you've got clever people they go okay we've kind of done that we've gone as far as we could with that storyline or far you know is, is there anywhere left me to go because um, I can't it's sad when shows that have been so brilliant just kind of hang in there and they keep going and just nobody watches them anymore. and they kind of lose their juice yeah they just lose their juice and they go out on the low rather it's like a bit like a sports person go out on a high yeah. I feel like we have so much to explore though. yeah we do like, we, we have, do like, yeah, it's, you get those six. jump the shark we've at least got our yeah. <laughs> I think I'm best. Technically. Uh, <laughs> but like when you have those jump the shark moments you kind of like you don't really have like you can tell they kind of like ran out of juice they ran out of steam for the narrative and I feel like we have so much still to explore like we've only just scratched the surface of exploring mermaid mythology and exploring our yeah, town and exploring right. our characters and like there's just there's just so many places to go yeah. so many perspectives to experience it in you know. I also think pop culture only usually has the max a seven year window and then it's a new trend people are like now nah, I'm over mermaids Where's the unicorns? <laughs> no, that's the next one. Is unicorns. Because <laughs> I was just like, well, where do you go after mermaids? It'll be mashups. Unicorns. Mermaid unicorns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, guys. We've got to jump to the next table. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yes, of course. Thank you.